Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I thought I'd take a look at how to make sure you're seen when swimming in the dark. In order to be seen, what we need is some way of making light and some way of displaying it. So I've got a couple of items to show you here. Uh, we've got these kind of glow sticks, which you may have lying around from your raving days, or maybe you can nick them out of uh, kids' party bags. I wouldn't go and buy them because they're not particularly environmentally friendly. In fact, they're not at all env environmentally friendly. But as I already had these lying around, I thought we'd have a look at them. Uh, so these are kind of glow sticks that you snap, they're one use, and then you shake them to get some light on it. I'm not gonna see that with the background light at the moment. You could use uh, a torch of some description, whether it be a head torch, um, it could be the torch that is on your phone. So could use this one. Or we could use a more purpose-built thing, which could be like the Guardian Taggart, uh, the Adventure Light, or it could be something like this, which is from a um, life jacket. So it's a life jacket light, which either gives a solid light or a flashing light. I'm going to show you how we use them now. What we've got here is the flashing adventure light type or life jacket light and as you can see it's giving our on and off flashing which makes it nice and easy to spot. Here we've got a glow stick on the outside of the tow float. You've got to be really careful with them though because they're difficult to get them to stay there. This is where we've got the glow stick inside the tow float. It's a tow donut and I think would work much much better with a torch which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but again, getting a bit of a glow and it maximises it more than having it on the outside. And you don't run the risk of losing the glow stick. This one's got my phone in there, just using the phone torch. But of course, any torch would do and probably better if it isn't your phone torch. Um, but it is giving a really good glow. And this one is by far and away the brightest at the moment. As you can see, there's a vast difference between the light that's given off by these. Um, the glow sticks are not particularly useful and would only be good on a flat night where there's not much distraction in the background. Whereas the flashing one, although it's not as bright as my phone light, that one does give something to catch your eye. I'm about 30 metres from the tow floats now. Let's just see how well we can see them. Well, we can certainly see the two orange ones, uh, the one with the flashing light and the one with the torch light inside, but we can't see the two with the glow sticks inside. I'm gonna switch one of the glow sticks out for a different torch and let's see how well we can see that. So I've switched one of the glow sticks out, the one that was inside the tow donut, and I've changed that for a pretty powerful torch. See if you can spot it behind me when I switch off my face light. I feel like I'm doing a, a little video about Halloween because that looks like a glowing pumpkin. So we can put the light source either inside the tow float and use them as a kind of glowing orb magnifying the light or we can pop them on the outside if they are deadly waterproof like a, a glow stick although mind that that doesn't wash off you've got to really make sure it's well secured or we can pop it on the outside again like the flashing light and you get to see the light brighter but uh, you don't benefit from that huge orb effect that we've got in these two here. Before you go out and buy something really expensive though, do take a look around the house to see what you've got because to be honest, a rechargeable bike light will do this. You could even just pop it inside one of those phone pouches if you're concerned about whether or not it's waterproof. Pop that inside your tow float and away you go. At night, we're not really carrying very much stuff with us. It's more about being seen. So do experiment with these in your back garden or somewhere dark so that you know what kind of glow you're gonna get from your light setup with the equipment that you're taking with you. If you point the, um, the light source at the inflated chamber, you're gonna get much better glow than obviously if it's pointing inwards and the light can get covered if things move around inside the tow float. I hope you've enjoyed this little introduction to how we can light ourselves up and be seen at night. 
One thing to remember is that no matter when we're swimming, it's important that somebody knows where we are and how long we're going to be out for. And for that, I use the Our Way is Safe Tracks app. I'll pop a link below to a video I made about how to use it for swimming. But it's kind of like being seen day or night by both uh, my family and the Coast Guard if necessary. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like and uh, drop me a comment. I always respond to the comments on my YouTube videos. And please take the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. There are lots and lots of videos on there for you to look at all about outdoor swimming and stuff I do outdoors for fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.